Hello, dear beloved. I greet you in the mighty name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Today is the 10th of July, 2022. Let's start with the word of prayer as always. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. Father, today we ask you that you be in our fellowship, Holy Spirit, as we break bread together. Build us up, Lord. Strengthen us, Lord, with might in the inner man. That we can withstand the hordes of wickedness that has been released on this realm. Thank you that, Lord, yours you look after. For your sheep here is your voice. Continue, Lord, to do great things and be merciful to your church until the day that you take us from this realm. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And the people of God say, Amen. It is a pleasure, guys, to be with you always and to find an occasion to, you know, share what the Lord is continuously doing in this hour. We all know that this the hour is past and the uh, days are getting harder and harder. It's getting difficult. Um, like in all things, you know, when you are on the verge of something great, the enemy will throw in everything, you know, the spanners, the kitchen sink with it, as they say, just to make sure that he can discourage as many people as possible. But we know that we are not those that slack back um, because the Lord um, has his hand on us. We are sealed by the Holy Ghost to the day of redemption. And, um, you know, we know his voice. We know his leading. We have a witness within us of the Holy Spirit that tells us a time that tells us how to be prepared and so on. Um, we are as if as we, we are about to board a plane. And you know when you're in the, on the departure lounge and sometimes you get anxious because you, you're wondering where is the plane, you know, and it seems like there has been some delays, some glitches here and there. Delayed it may seem, but certainly not denied. Uh, so this is where we are, folks. And so as, as, as we may have, have opportunity to encourage each other, to admonish each other, I want to do so today spe specifically, um, you know, over the spirit of religion that has taken over uh, mainly on the African churches and at world at large, actually, not only just that, but I suppose everywhere. Uh, this past night, the Lord, I was having a conversation with the Lord about it, and the Lord was showing me how many uh, people are held by this spirit, this religious spirit of loving church, of loving their congregation, of loving their programs, their denominational um, setup, or loving their men of God, so-called men of God, that it has become idolatry, literally. And the Lord was asking me just to warn people to say, this is not the time to idolize men. You know, this is the time for you to have your own personal relationship and intimacy with the Lord, uh, that it's time for you to be able to hear God's voice yourself. It is time for you to make sure that you've got oil for yourself. Um, this is uh, coming back to the issue of the ten virgins, which is very predominant in this hour right now as I'm speaking, that the other half of the ten did not have oil, did not have the communion, did not have the re relationship and the fellowship continuously. And so they were found wanting in a critical time and hour. And so I'm here to admonish you for those particularly who are so much into their men of God, so-called men of God, that the man of God becomes their God becomes an idol that you need to make sure that you change your position um you know the lord was showing me how you know many so-called christians have made their religion a brand you know a literal brand where they prefer a certain way of doing things they prefer a certain uh you know church because it allows them to do certain things they've made christianity like a brand like a fashion trend you know where you you, you do it the way that it suits you and thus sacrificing and crucifying everything that is godly and not be able to allow the Spirit of God to influence them in any direction except only to what their church tells them. Um, so this is a warning you know, to people who are in this bracket, who are stuck in this religiosity, demonic influence that does not allow the Spirit of God to have free reign and to influence you in the direction of growth. But because you are afraid of what your society and your your people around the people around you are going to say, you are stuck in this religious rut and you don't want to move from that position. Uh, so this is a message directly for that today, as we admonish each other, seeing that the time is over. 
Time is over, guys, as we know it. If we are here, it's only by God's grace. It's only by God's mercy who is sustaining us, who is giving us the fuel just on a daily basis, enough just to get by. Okay, so I, I'm saying this out of love because I want you to be prepared. I want you to be ready. I'm not saying that you shouldn't honor, you know, men of God or you shouldn't acknowledge them. You should. But there's a difference between honoring someone and worshiping them. Worship has to do with idol idolatry, where whatever that person says goes. You know, a lot of I know a lot of people who don't have God's witness in them, so they strictly rely on what someone says without testing things, without checking things. They just swallow everything. So I want you to have to be in a position of first. Timothy chapter 2, I believe verse 5 says that, you know, seeing that there's only one God and one mediator between man and God, the man Christ Jesus, Christ Jesus must be the anchor and the strength of your union with God. There must be that oneness that no one can just tell you things without you checking for yourself. You know, it's good to have preachers like, like now. It's good to have people like, like myself encouraging you, but you must always test everything. You know, to know that this is of the Lord, there must be a witness in you that also tells you that you are in the right. And so that you are not susceptible to every wind and sleigh of doctrine that is coming out there today to take you away. I see even on YouTube, a lot of people just swallow what is said, even though it's not biblical. They don't test it. They don't check on it. So, guys, today, this is my thing today to say to you, test everything. Okay, get away from the religious spirit. You know, this whole brand Christianity that is only centered on a man, centered on how you like it and not how God likes it. Check your position. Lest you think you stand, you fall. Okay, so this is where we are, folks. I love you very much and I bless you until we speak on the next one. Shalom.